Yeah. Don't have to guess that we're back with Luke. Because remember, he's a fault behavior is barking. Uh, and anything I say or do is just going to make him think, yeah, that worked. I, what I want to talk about, though, you guys, because there is a difference in pagers. And you can... You can take a dog, if you've got a dog that was conditioned on the weaker pager like this dog that kind of needs maybe a little, oh, just a little bit of a refresher type of situation. Uh, my advice, honestly, is to change pagers. I want you to see how much weaker this pager is. This is the 300. No, no, wait, that's the wrong one. Versus... Oh, it took me screaming at these people for years. Do not make this pager weaker. The 300 had a weaker pager than the 200. So you can see. And it would if you... It's, it's, it's markedly different. So what I'm going to do to try to gain an edge on Lukey Boy is to put the stronger pager on. Because he understands the collar. He's collar literate. You know, Connie hits the nick if she has to. But the dog is not thinking to itself. Oh, I hope that never happens. He's like, who cares? You know, it's kind of like these. I don't want to make that analogy because Connie's like, I'm a terrible trainer. But it's like these terrible trainers coming back at me with whatever, whatever they've got. Just, I already know it's nothing. So it's, you know, I already saw what they got. Let's just put it that way. He's already seen what you've got, Connie. <laughs> so we might be able to get it. Luke. Uh, he was all trained before, too. Yeah. And he still got a down with the collar. It's, it's just... I think he's... Oh, I think he's... He had a turn. persisted in the dog. Look. Down. Oh, <laughs> he might have even had a kind of a fancy down. And I hurried. He mouthed, he mouthed at me. Down. Heel. You know, but I'm saying this dog was trained ever how many years ago? Down. You know, and it's still got that by virtue of the pager. And you said, well, what if you trained it without the pager? Oh, it wouldn't do a damn thing. He wouldn't do a damn thing. All right, so we got our dumbbells. Yeah, he's already getting. Okay, hang on. So his job is just to deliver them to my hand. My job isn't really to do anything other than look at the basket. He might bring the whole basket. He tries to bring three at once. And if you said, why does he kind of stay at arm's length away? I, I have a feeling he's been played tug with. And he's the type, he's the affable type that... Get any strange guy, they're gonna pick up a ball. Come on, boy, fetch it up, boy. That's how they learn that arm. If you see a dog that stays an arm's length away from a person, that has to do with their arms. He likes doing it, though. All right, I think he'll get the basket. All I gotta do is look at it, though. Yay. 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 Oh. Uh oh, you saw that one drop. Yay. You see, he wants to tug with me. I better, you know, if you said, well, what do you do then? Not say no, just be faster. All right, now he's gonna get the basket. And that's where I can do my guarding, though. Yay. And I want you to practice that, Connie. That guarding behavior is good for the grandkids. 
so that he does, because if you said no, he wouldn't take a peanut butter sandwich from a kid. The hell he wouldn't. He'll take one from me. Yay. That's what dogs like this do. They walk around and when they see a kid with a sandwich. So I made it through the whole thing without, with, with just a very limited barking and I didn't correct the barking and that's where I want to be. I'm not going to say I'm going to get out here and I'm going to, and you know who's, oh! If you said, what was that? That was Luke. Like the third time that happened. I can already see it's going to break though because it's got like a little plastic thing that closes it. And, yeah, that's what's going to break. Anyway, but you know, you know who this dog is. This Mike, this is a spoiled, entitled dog. This woman is not going to get out there and start slamming this dog with corrections. It's not going to work anyway. You know, when you're talking about 90 pound dogs versus, you know, honestly, I mean, some of these, some humans, I mean, some of these girls, these girls only weigh 100 pounds. So you're talking about a 90 pound dog versus 100 pound. Common sense would tell you quickly, quickly, let's develop something. Not let's get a prong collar. Oh, <laughs> God. That, that we don't have the foresight to say, oh, God, we're physically outmatched. Wow. Damn. We are physically outmatched. Big time. Let's start developing. That's what just kills me. Who are these people? Now I'm starting to lose it. All right, I'm going to do, you know, I'm thinking about it now. I mean, you know. <laughs> These people lack any, if you're still using a 90-something year old tool, yeah. You lack any innovation at all. I think that's what makes it. That's, that's why I say sometimes it's just hopeless with these people. Even if they did have, the, they're so incapable of seeing outside the box. Down. I do think the pager makes a difference, though, with this dog. Luke. Just because it's different, down. But again, this dog is not going to keep doing this for years and years and years if it's been corrected into doing it. So, all right, you guys, I'll be right back with one more episode. If there's any requests posted, I'll go get that one. <laughs>